Welcome to Electron Line. One of the great advantages in converting complex numbers to polar form is that then it becomes really easy to multiply and divide them. So sh I'll show you what I mean. So let's say we have two complex numbers, z, z1 and z2 have already converted them into a polar form. Now we're going to multiply the two together and we're going to divide the two. What that means is if I multiply the two together, z1 times z2, that is equal to r1 times r2, so simply the, the multiplication of the two magnitudes times the cosine of the sum of the two angles plus i times the sine of the sum of the two angles. So you can see that it's really easy then to multiply two complex numbers, ones that are in polar form. Now, how do we divide two complex numbers like that in polar form? Well, we can say that z1 divided by z2 is equal to r1 divided by r2, simply the division of the two magnitudes of the, of the two complex numbers in polar form times the cosine of the difference of the two angles, theta1 minus theta2 plus i times the sine of the difference, theta1 minus theta2 of the two angles. So you can see, very straightforward. To illustrate that, let's go ahead and do an example. Let's say, for example, that we have z1 is equal to, let's say, uh, 10 times the cosine of, let's say, uh, 60 degrees plus i times the sine of 60 degrees. And let's say that z2 is equal to 2 times the cosine of, let's say, 45 degrees plus i times the sine of 45 degrees. So again, these are two complex numbers in polar form. Let's multiply them together. So here we can say that therefore z1 times z2 is equal to the product of two magnitudes. That would be 10 times 2. So 10 times 2 times the cosine of 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. That would be the cosine of 60 degrees plus 45 degrees plus i times the sine of 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. And likewise, if we're going to subtract, uh, uh, not subtract, but divide them, we would say that z1 divided by z2 would be equal to 10 divided by 2 times the cosine of, that would be 60 degrees minus 45 degrees, plus i times 60 degrees minus 45 degrees. So it's as simple as that. Now we just have to simplify that. So we can say that this is equal to 20 times the cosine of 105 degrees plus i times the sine of 105 degrees. Like that. And in that case, that would be equal to 5 times the cosine of, that would be 15 degrees plus i times the sine of 15 degrees. And so you can see that it's really easy to convert from one to the other. And to multiply and divide complex numbers when they're in polar form. And that's how we do that. Very straightforward.